Sport. Second fight of our tournament, second KOK Grand Prix semi-final fight. Ladies and gentlemen, blue corner, fighter from Holland, Malhas Karia. So here we are, our second fight, the middleweight Grand Prix. As he runs to the ring, representing the blue corner, Malhas Kariha. Facing Amalhas Igor Lyapin from Ukraine versus the Dutchman Amalhas. Zakaria in the blue corner already in the ring from team 100% in his corner you've got Hassan very very good fighter former fighter there in with also helping out by Peter of Holland but this now is the man wearing the Ukraine flag, obviously a proud nationalist of Ukraine, Igor Lyapin. Pavel Suryev there over the side, supporting his friend there, Igor Lyapin. Ukraine getting a big support here for the Dutch, as we know. Look at that stare down. Ah. Holland comes to the table, one of the best fighting nations in the world. Second only for me to Thailand, personally. Proven himself time and time and time again, but they're up against the Ukraine again, a country that's making a big stand in the fight world. And look at that fast start, no wasting, no testing, no dipping the toes in the water to test the heat. These two are banging off their feet. Everything rhymes at KOK because I'm okay when I'm at KOK. So these two here in the second semi-final of the middleweight Grand Prix, minus 85 kilograms. And I'll tell you what, that is how it's done. Wow, Flying Dutchman comes in. 
Malhaz Karia goes for gold, but so too does Igor Lyapin. You can hear those shots back in Ukraine and back in Holland. You don't need TV to hear them. Wow. Both wanting to make a place in the final. They go throwing. Oh! Nice comeback. <laughs> Excellent. Well, on paper, these two made the same weight. Very little between them. Less than half a kilo. Both the same height, roughly. It's three centimeters between them, that's all. And fight wise, Malhaz from Holland in the blue corner. He's had 28 fights, 21 wins, five losses, and two draws. And Igor Lyapin comes in with 25 fights, so very, very similar. Igor having 21 wins and four losses. So on paper, these two are match perfect. Well, they've had two minutes already, and it's thundering and lightning in there with these two. Look at that, boxing, kicking and jumping knees. Everything goes. There's a nice, call it a half knee or half shin. It's a cross between a knee and a kick. A lot of Muay Thai fighters use that. Very clever technique. The shin basically goes around, it's like a round knee and a round kick. But a nice round kick goes in there with a nice right straight and left punch to the kidneys. Right down there and he drops, he takes him. Well, that's what the crowd seemed to like. Is he going to count him out? He has. Wow. In round one. That is disaster for the Dutchman. No. Think of this. This gentleman hasn't completed one round. The Romanian was made to work four. This is a tough test for the finalist, Daniel Alexander. Here we see my fabulous cameraman. Takes a right there. Oh. Two shots. Watch that again. Right, left, oh, right on the chin and into the ribs there. Look at that, Bosch, Bosch. Oh, down he goes. Blood already coming from the face. Look at that, perfect. Igor Leopin. Well, immense. Puts him straight into the final and puts him at favourite, Igor Lyapin. Remember the gentleman he'll face the finals had to do four rounds. Can you say unfair advantage? Ladies and gentlemen, well, there the you go. Mr. Danny Doran, very happy. Seconds. By knockout, the winner is and to Kiyuki Grand Prix final fight goes. Red corner, Igor. Well, he made short work of that. Two minutes, 50 seconds. Emphatic win there, right at the end of the round. KO wins, and Igor Lyapin goes to the final.